It was the beginning of time. The Big Bang released huge amounts of energy and matter and our universe began. After about one million years, it had cooled down enough for huge numbers of hydrogen atoms to form. Each had a single proton and a single electron. Hey, don't forget us! Oh, and some helium and lithium too. But don't bother too much about lithium. No one else does. If I was first, I should get more credit. The hydrogen atoms gravitated into stars where they were squeezed incredibly. They became helium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron and others. Then, in some cases, the stars ended their life in a huge explosion called a supernova. In this explosion, larger atoms were created. So space was full of newly graduated atoms, all looking for partners and employment. So, this is space. Sure is lonely out here. Wish I had a friend. Shouldn't we be doing something useful? Well, I'm an attractive atom. I shouldn't spend my whole life alone. I wonder if marriage has been invented yet. I'd like to marry you. Then maybe we could build a place together where we could all live. Uh, we should hold elections and elect some leaders to organize us. No need for elections. As Xenon, myself, and the other noble gases are above such desires, it is probably best that we assume this role. Okay, line up a low to one jobs. Let's see you. You're too disorganized. Let's have some sort of order. Uh, metals to the left and non-metals to the right. What if you're in between? <laughs> partly metal and partly non-metal. Where do we go? <laughs> You didn't think of us, did you? Well, if you are in between, you obviously go in between, you silly things. Careful, Silicon, or you'll develop a chip on your shoulder. Then you'll never get a job. Those with one electron over in this column, size off, small on top and big at the bottom. Now those with two electrons in the outer shell, call them down here. Three electrons. Four electrons, that's you, carbon, and silicon in between. Five down here, six down here, and seven electrons. And finally eight, us, the noble gases. Hydrogen in line with me, please. I'm your row leader. I'm next. And then me, Argon, in line, everyone. There. That looks neater already. Glad you're happy, but what about me? I'm still awfully lonely and I'd like a best friend. Well, at present you are an atom. But an attractive atom like you can't go around alone. It isn't done. Why, thank you. We could try to pair you off with someone. We could try someone of your own type. Oxygens, line up in two rows. Now pair off. Now you are molecules of oxygen. A molecule is the smallest fragment you can exist as. Now all the other gases can pair off too. It's the done thing. Gases, you have to go around alone. You can't combine with anyone. Oh, I say. Well, uh, how about a metal? Do we form molecules? You can exist as a single atom, but normally you'll be part of a crystal. Now for the rest of you. Hydrogen, what would you like? Employment, where you will undergo physical changes. Or marriage, where you'll be chemically changed. What's in it for me, then? 
Ask not what we can do for you, but ask yourself what you can do for us. So, what can you do? Well, I'm light, I move quickly, I'm a gas most of the time, I'd make a very good star. Why is it everyone wants to be a star? If you're going to build a planet to live on, you'll have to be a bit more down to earth. Your physical properties won't help us build a home. You may need a chemical change. Join another atom and become a molecule. Here, what if I choose lithium? Not many jobs going for lithium hydride. Can't think of a use, really. And, uh, beryllium? Sorry again, no jobs at present for beryllium hydride. The same goes for boron hydride. We could chemically combine to form the molecule methane CH4. We could live in swamps and make coal gas. <laughs> We could chemically change to form the molecule of ammonia. We can fertilize life and help it grow. Nice thought, but life hasn't been born yet. Try me. Try me. <laughs> we could be beautiful together. With me, you would be really useful. We'll be worshipped. Without us, life cannot form. Worship? I like that. Tell me more, sweet oxygen. I can promise you a moist, damp, wet end to your dry existence. Let's go. We gather here to witness the joining together of hydrogen and oxygen in a chemical change. Is there any atom here present today who knows of any reason why these atoms should not combine to become a molecule? Good. Oxygen, you may now kiss the grooms and partly remove their electrons. You have now chemically changed to become a molecule. You realize this is forever. You cannot split apart except under the most extreme circumstances. Atoms and molecules, I present to you the new molecule, water. <laughs> I was so looking forward to becoming hydrogen chloride. Well, there aren't many jobs going for pure chlorine. It would be best if you underwent a chemical change too. By the laws of chemistry, you can choose almost any atom you like. Hydrogen chloride? I'm not interested anymore. I'll find someone else. Lithium chloride? No. Beryllium chloride? Never heard of it. Boron chloride? Sounds boring. Carbon tetrachloride? Oh, sounds positively poisonous. Nitrogen trichloride? Mm. Oxygen chloride? Hmm. No. No, can't combine with the noble gases. So, sodium. Hello, big boy. Sodium, at your service. Where have you been all my life? I don't think I can resist you. Oh, good. I like that in an atom. Friends, we are gathered together again to witness the coming together of two atoms, sodium and chlorine. Sodium, have you the electron? Oh, yes, I, I do. <laughs> Chlorine, will you take this electron to have and to hold from this day forth to let no one take it from you? I will. Chlorine, you may kiss the groom and take his electron. Now you have chemically changed. You each have an electric charge. You have both become ions. Sodium, you are a positive ion. I am going to succeed. I will protect an image of success in order to be successful. I will be proactive. 
I will not play the victim. I will always look on the bright side. Not that type of positive, you idiot. You have a positive electric charge. You are not an atom anymore. You are a positive ion. Oh, I'm a positive ion. You, Chlorine, are a negative ion because you have an extra electron. You are now attracted to each other. A metal ion and a non-metal ion. That makes you a salt. Because there are so many of you, we'll call you common salt. I'm not sure I want to be common. There is more. You will not live as single molecules. You will be evenly attracted to other ions. You will form a crystal lattice. Atoms and molecules, I give you common salt. What electrons now join together, let only one split asunder. Any more in the audience like to join in? I declare that whosoever can split them apart shall become King Compound and will be employed forever. Too tough for me. Move. I want to be king. I'd rather be a queen. Mind, Mind if, if I, I try? try? If we can't do it, how could you? Don't worry, love. I still carry your electron. I'll never let it go. The separation's only physical. It's a physical change, not a chemical change. Well, if it's only a physical change, it should be easy to reverse, then. Oh, sun above, mighty sun, beam down and evaporate this water. Undo this physical change. be melted. O oh, sun above, mighty sun, beam down again but stronger. Melt sodium chloride. Change it physically. again. You sure this is a physical change? Well, you still have the electrons in the same place, so there's been no chemical change. Yes, Petal. I still have your electrons, so don't worry. What if we really want to chemically change back again? Surely this must be possible? Yes, a divorce is possible, but difficult. We would have to use electrolysis. With electricity, we can put the electrons back in their original positions. This is a chemical change. I'd like to see you try to that water. That can be arranged. This is electrolysis. The water is broken down into hydrogen and oxygen. It's a chemical change.
But if the water was boiled off, it would only be a physical change. Who else? We have time for a few more weddings. Carbon, would you like a partner? Why, of course, I, I, I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go. <laughs> I see a lot of potential for you. I'm good with carbon. We could uh, chemically change and make lots of molecules. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, tar. We could go on forever. Millions of compounds. Sounds a bit complicated for a beginner. <laughs> Maybe later on. I think something more simple. We could chemically change to carbon tetrachloride. <laughs> Silicon carbide is a really hard substance. A bit like salt, but water can't break it apart. Have we met? <laughs> you look like me. We're the same Adam, dude. I'm carbon as well. Uh, can we do anything together? Try graphite. You'll make a good lubricant or pencil lead. Is this a chemical change? No, you are still an element. You're just in a different form. What other forms are possible? Try diamond. You'll be very useful then. Hardest substance in the world. Whoa, dude, this is cool. Let's go scratch some records. <laughs> uh, anything else? Well, bucky balls and bucky tubes. I'm sure we'll find a use for you one day. <laughs> All a bit complicated for me. <laughs> Woohoo! Oxygen, my lovely non metal atom. Wilt thou be my partner for the rest of our life? I shall, you wonderful, handsome atom. But you have four electrons and I need only two, so you will need two of me. Well, I guess this is a chemical change. <laughs> I pronounce you chemically changed to the carbon dioxide molecule. Well, that makes me next. Whatever carbon can do, I can do too. Oxygen, wilt thou be my partner to bond and to hold till death do us part? I wilt. I mean, I will. Go forth and make solid ground for this new world of ours. physical job for me on this new world of ours, Xenon. If you do not combine with other atoms, then any change is called physical. For example, the bar of copper may be stretched, or bent, or heated, or melted, or boiled, or cut into pieces. These are all physical changes. Here. Yeah. What if I mix with zinc and make brass? Well, it is still a physical change because the atoms are not combining. The atoms are mixing like members of a crowd. In brass, the copper can dissolve any amount of zinc. It is called an alloy, and it is a physical change. I like a physical job. Can I start simply as an element? How about holding water? That'll be easy, because you're forbidden by the great physical and chemical laws of this universe from chemically combining with water. You shall become pots and pipes. 
Great, a successful placement. Next, please. Would you recommend a physical or chemical change for me? Well, come in and we'll try you out. Let's try chemical changes first. Hmm. Iron sulfide. Not very useful. Iron oxide? Too complicated for now and of very little use. You could polish glass, but it hasn't been invented yet. You're not really much use as a chemical. Let's see how you measure up physically. We may be able to find a job for you. Can you form up in ranks, please? Can you take physical change? Sure. Remarkable physical strength. We can, I think, make you stronger. Carbon, would you like a job? Chemical or physical, dude? Indeed, physical. Way to go, man. What do I do now? Mix in with iron at about 3%. It'll stiffen him up, make him stronger, turn him into steel. You sure this is a physical change? Yes, it's not a chemical combination. There are no molecules forming. You are still both elements. This is a physical change, a mixture like salt and water. World, I give to you not a chemical compound this time, but a physical mixture called steel. Right! Yeah! Yeah! May you be usefully employed in our new world. Bring on lightning! Blast away! Join together, my beautiful atoms! Give us the molecules life needs! And so, one by one, the atoms found employment, partners, and homes.